morning YouTube. It is Wednesday, June 15th or 16th. I am three and a half weeks out. Like, can you believe it? I can't. Um, time is just flying. I'm so excited. 24 days. Um, so yeah, I'm just up, ready, and we're gonna go do some cardio. 45 minutes. Um, yeah, training is intense right now. A lot of two-a-days. Um, so it's definitely starting to weigh on me. I'm certainly having the like, diet brain. I've sent some emails to the wrong people. Um, I've put some things in the fridge that are supposed to go in the cupboard and vice versa. That's like when I know things are about like, getting serious. <laughs> um, but I don't know, I'm in a really good mood today. So um, I find my energy is kind of up and down depending on the day, depending on when I'm training, depending on the carb level that I'm intaking. Um, so yeah, it's um, this is just the time. You just gotta push through, show up, do the work, and trust the process. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna vlog today. Um, it's a very low carb day. Might show you some meals. Anyway, show you what I get up to, a couple exciting things today. Um, so let's get going. First, I'll show you what I'm wearing. So I am wearing this Nike crop. I love it. At the back, I'll see if I can get it. It says, a revolution in motion. Can you see that? And then these pants are the um, zone in crop from Lululemon. I love them. And then this bra is from RYU. Excuse this little guy. Cardio complete, and now I'm having my egg white omelet with spinach, sriracha, Mrs. Dash, and coconut oil. Yum! What's up, guys? So we are now at a car to go. I've got my hair and makeup done, and Frasier does too. Um, and we are going to get some headshots done. So, um, I signed with a talent agency, I guess you call them, about a month ago, maybe a little more than that, and I got out for maybe a handful of auditions just like for like commercials and stuff like that. Um, I haven't booked anything, but it's kind of just for fun. Um, but Frasier on the other hand <laughs> has got out for two, gotten two callbacks, and has booked one. So. Yeah, killing it over here. Um, I don't think I can tell you what it was for, but when I can, I will let you know because it was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we're just on our way to get some headshots done, um, and yeah, maybe I'll get some behind the scenes footage when I get there. Since we're just driving, I just wanted to talk about something that was on my mind this morning. Um, so the show that I'm doing in three and a half weeks, I can't believe it. Um, is my seventh show and I was thinking like every single show I've kind of learned something um, and I just was gonna share it with you so my very first show was in 2012 and I was so naive to everything it wasn't even like a real federation that I competed in it was just for like a, a cover for, like a, to be on the cover of a magazine type thing and I guess with that first show, I just really fell in love with fitness and competing and just, just the whole lifestyle. Um, and then my second show um, was just terrible. Like, I always cheated on my diet. I didn't take it seriously. And I think that was because I, I jumped back into training for a show literally like three weeks after my first show. So if I could go back and redo it, I would have waited longer in between shows. And I don't even think it's like healthy to do that like them that close together. Um, so it wasn't like I just competed three weeks later, I literally started a whole nother 12 week prep. So um, I think it was just a little bit too much and I just was burnt out and I didn't really give it my all and that was, I got like second call of death that show was like my worst placing ever so um, yeah. Uh, and then shows three, four and five, I joined, um, I switched coaches, not that my coach was bad the first two shows, but she moved away. Um, and I joined, for, so for shows three, four, and five, I joined Team Body by Brat, so um, it's IFBB 
Bikini Pro Lee Brandt and her husband who run it um, and they're amazing and they just have um, a team and they really focus on bikini and it was just like I don't know I just loved the support and I just met so many people in the industry um, through that team and just so many um, friends and uh, so it was really good and then also being um, working with Lee and Dean and they're just amazing in this industry and they know so much I just learned so much from them um, so that was a really great experience um, and then moving on to show six yeah so my last show was the show that I trained myself for um, and it was good it was also the first show I ever traveled for so like I flew somewhere for so that was a cool learning experience um, learned kind of like how to travel with meals and like all that sort of stuff but then the main part was like that I trained myself for and I realized that um, I didn't really like that I really like having someone tell me what to do when it comes to competing like obviously I can train myself and create a training program for my goals and whatever but um, when it comes to competing I just really wished I would have had the guidance there um, and then this show is my seventh show and I have um, a new coach Nick Tong um, and yeah it's been another really great experience um, so yeah I'll I guess um, I guess I'm still in the middle of it, but um, I'll see what I learned from this show at the end of it. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that. I also um, talked to my Precision sponsors today, and I will be, we have a booth at the uh, Vancouver Pro Show, so it's the same weekend as the show that I'm competing in. Um, so I will be at the booth Saturday. I might pop in here and there in between when I'm like on stage and whatever. I don't know. No promises just because I'll be, you know, focusing on competing that day. And then Sunday, I believe I will be there from 10 until 3. 10 until 2. I can't remember. But I will be sure to let you know again. But yeah, I'm excited because we had an awesome booth there last year. We made pancakes and protein pancakes. Um, but I'm not sure what we're doing this year yet. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, my arm is getting really <laughs> sore from holding this camera. Um, so I'll see you in the next clip. Bye. Nice, stand up straight and turn your head a bit towards me more. Yeah, nice. Hello again. So now I am home and I'm all changed. We're gonna go hit some shoulders and some chesticles. Um, yeah, the headshots went really good. We were there for like almost three hours, so it was yeah, it was really good. So yeah, gonna go smash out this workout. It's beautiful out today.
out. So I go in the stand up. So I don't normally tan in tan beds, um, but I do start at around four weeks out from my show because I just find it gives you a good base. And people who have tanned, like spray tanned me in the past, said that I have like a really good base. So I just like to, um, and especially where like I start to do like a few more photo shoots and stuff, um, just feels good. And this is the tanning lotion that I use. I love this stuff. It's the Australian Gold Hot Sport. I got this one because you can use it outside as well. So, yeah, I don't, I wouldn't recommend tanning, but maybe like every third day, four weeks out from your show.